this is good morning it's um friday and uh, we got home last night and um it's the first time that uh, i still am not sleeping at all but um and that's uh, so i apologize for the kind of drivenness of um of the words that i do, uh, that i that i speak but um I only have a very short message um, today, and that is um, um, about a charity that I would really like to found. Um, and last night, the budget doubled with a um, a realization, um, which I will share with you. But there's really just two parts to it, and it has to do with. Um, Again, this interplay of uh, spirit and matter, because matter is really um, to be encased in matter is really um, it's uh, difficult, um, and when one is uh, in a fragile state, and partially I think it's because of these medications which have completely saved my life. I I don't regret anything, but I have a very sensitive body and. Um, and I think that uh, they, in, in some uh, systems of, uh, in the East, there's uh, hours of the day that are associated with certain um, organs in the body. So I think that, um, uh, and I'm not going to go into the gory details, but it has to do with a kind of murky, a murky space um, that is very, very unpleasant um, uh, that happens around... Uh, between say 1.30 and 2.30 but not exactly around that but just around that time um, I'm very aware that uh, the times of day um, are becoming a morning person which is completely not my thing at all but one of the um, and this could change but one of the things that has happened is I think I might have told you is um, the uh, my thermostat just is appalling and I'm um, I'm wearing two sets of pajamas. Um, I have a little hat here. I, this is a, um, a what do you call it? Um, a scarf. And um, sometimes I'm just so freezing. And um, and my uh, and what is makes um, an immediate difference is a hot water bottle. And I've had such a feeling of shame. Um, and compassion, a shame, um, ashamed of myself for becoming like these, you know, like everybody who lives in major cities, immune to the uh, the terrible suffering of people who are living in boxes and doorways on our um, privileged streets. And um, but uh, so I, th there are so many charities. Um, that are working in that way, and I've always done going with St. Mungo's because they uh, they they are into they they really recognize the importance of animals and all this. Uh, but, but anyway, so I thought in the same way as we have parking meters, um, it would be amazing if everywhere in all the major cities, and of course it goes beyond major cities; it's all over the place, but. It's almost most poignant there and most pathetic um, that we allow that to exist under our gaze. Um, there's a Bob Dylan song called What Good Am I? Um, uh, and um, it wouldn't it be amazing if it, we could have hot water bottles? Um, it's almost like an international hot water bottle society, or perhaps the water bottle, there needs to be research to kind of perfect the hot water bottle so that it's like uh, it's again like time-lapse photography uh, if you looked and saw the Im the um, immediate healing effect of hot water bottle um, it's breathtaking um, absolutely like um, like the hand of God but then um, so I thought of this I guess the last night or the night before in the hospital that we need to have some kind of a charity that will really 
take on board this such basic human need because Dorothea had to um, sign a legal disclaimer is the first thing that happened um, because um, this thing started with this um, major major temperature problem with me um, you know so that we would take all legal responsibility for anything that might I, I don't really know what the details are but it's a neurological hospital and um, they can't I really understand where they're coming from but boy oh boy everybody knew that I could have that and um, and um, and but somewhere it was I felt like a, a little baby I did record um, something about this but I never actually um, sent it out um, I think it's about fragility and compassion. So I would like to start a charity or a movement uh, or, you know, just have charities that already work in this area to open their, uh, to extend their um, deliverance to into hot water bottles and that somehow that everybody who knows that they'd be able to get that. But then the budget of this charity doubled last night um, and that is because I realized that two hot water bottles are better than one um, uh, and um, so that really is a bit of a problem but anybody who would like to get involved in that please let me know um, the other thing is that um, you know uh, you know, we have the NHS, and um, and yet I was given, um, I received um, private care because I get this um, through my work, and what a gift. You know, I was sent home by ambulance last night, completely looked after. Some of these people are like angels, really, these people, everybody there. Uh, but I'm not going to go into I've already kind of ranted on about that. But the other, but the one thing um, that was very um, not good was the food and I know it's better than hospital food used to be but um, they didn't they don't even have a kitchen in there and this is the private wing you know um, it's all from the um, what do you call it um, freezer into the microwave and it's the food of death it's not the food of life but it, um, but again, in the same way that uh, that this worked with um, with the hot water bottle yesterday, Dorothea um, gave me some food, and it had been fresh, fresh, uh, fresh things um, from the market, you know. And in California, we have this place, Berkeley Bowl. I'm sure it's still there. Unbelievable, amazing food. And I love bitter things like dandelion greens and rocket. They call it arugula in America. Um, anyway, so the, I, I swear if there was like time lapse photography of my, like an MRI or something like that, um, the minute this food entered my mouth, fresh, um, I'm not even sure what it was, but it was all fresh. Fresh tomatoes, most tomatoes have nothing, they, they don't. Have the right to call them their their posers. What the suits would say, their poser tomatoes. If it doesn't smell like a tomato, it ain't gonna taste like a tomato, and it won't um, have tomato qualities. So it was. Um, it doesn't really matter what it is. The fact that it, it was fresh, it was cooked with love, and um, and there was uh, an absolutely immediate effect. And you know, in language. We have these um, idioms and things of the straw that broke the camel's back. This was like the spoon that healed the camel's back. It was that dramatic. I was blown away by the intensity, immediacy um, of it. I felt like I was being healed. I feel so much better. And it's something that is so important, this food thing, what we take into our bodies. I'm not a terrible one, but... Um, we are souls, and um, and uh, and believe me, um, you know I am a sinner to the max in terms of what I've used to kind of anesthetize, anesthetize myself. 
but um, uh, food, precious, fresh food in Northern California is one of the most beautiful places for food in the entire world. Um, purity, freshness, and variety. And, and this country still really lags behind miserably. It was such a shock when I came here in 1986. I just couldn't believe it. But um, uh, that's really it. It is, um, you know, again, we are uh, trying to navigate through this physical world of matter, and, um, and food should really be cooked with love and mantras and eaten like it's um, Holy Communion. Um, so, um, and again, uh, just know that I don't mean any of these things that I'm like um, pontificating, but if you were on steroids, believe me, and they're reducing it like mad, I've got to take them now. Believe me, you'd understand. <laughs> I really understand Maxine. Um, it is potent stuff. So, um, God bless you. God bless you all. And please do consider um, um, the gift, the special, the special unique gift and, poten and healing potential of 